thy knife chip and shatter. May thy knife chip and shatter. When Paul Atreides challenges Rauta Harkonnen to participate in a close combat with each other, Rauta doesn't hesitate even for a single moment. In this fight, whoever gets to win will have the throne of Emperor Shaddam IV and take complete control of the spice production activities. But the question is, what would actually happen if Rauta Harkonnen had been able to kill Paul Atreides in the fight? The Fremen tribe members would never believe that Paul Atreides was actually a prophet because he died he lost in the fight. Stilgar would definitely have been surprised and humiliated by the Fremen tribe members. Rauta Harkonnen would definitely eliminate Shaddam IV and marry Princess Irulan forcefully. Lady Jessica Atreides would definitely get imprisoned along with the most significant leadership members of the Fremen tribe. Shani would possibly run away from that place and begin to build her own team. She would rebel against Rauta Harkonnen but the actual question is, for how long Shani would be able to rebel against them. Don't you think that she will definitely get defeated in front of the vast military of the Baron dynasty? Don't you think that they will also take control of the Padisha military belonging to Shaddam IV? And if that happens, it would be almost impossible for Shani to defeat that man. Which means the villain will be victorious and the innocents will suffer forever. Even though the Fremen tribe members still believe that Paul Atreides was a prophet, their religious spirit will never be enough to defeat such a vast emperor with the biggest army in the universe. And that means the game would be completely over for them.